Of all the precast concrete countertop samples that I've done, I've never been able to emulate one thing, and that is granite or marble. Today, we are going to try and do that. Hi everybody, I'm Jim Deardorff, and this is Detroit DIY. We are going to use powdered pigments. This is um, True Tone from Davis Colors. It's available online. It's also available in a lot of places locally. If you have a, a masonry supply or something like that in your area, and I'm sure you do, you can get it there. This is Iron Black. Iron Black, you would think, would be the darkest of the colors, but it appears as though charcoal is darker. So what I'm going to do is use, I have three buckets uh, with 10 pounds each of mortar mix in them. Rapid set mortar mix. I'm going to use three ounces of charcoal in one. I'm going to use one ounce of iron black. And I'm going to use two ounces of white. The white pigment is not available, as far as I can tell, from Davis Colors. You have to get that online through Amazon. Um, just type in, you know, white concrete pigment and it's going to come up with some options for you to order that online. I've taken two bags of set control and two bags of flow control and I've divided them up equally into three different um, measurements. So I'm going to, and we'll get into that a little deeper as we go, I'm going to use a butter knife in two of them. And I believe my finger is in the third. I may blend the three colors together at the end and pour it like that. I'm not positive. We'll see how I feel about it when we get there. I will also be using 24 ounces of water per 10 pounds of mortar mix. So I'm going to get this stuff mixed up and we're going to get going. Okay, everything's mixed up. Here is the three ounces of charcoal, which I'm hoping is going to be almost black. This is the two ounces of white. And this is the one ounce of iron black. And what I mean by one ounce is a dry ounce or a liquid ounce measurement cup that I am just using for my measurement. And it's really close. So we're going to start with this one. And I don't, I think last time when I did this, I put too much cement in the form. And it was too hard to get the blend that I wanted. So I'm just going to put some dabs. I just at this point in time want to create the face coat. So I'm just going to put some random... Blotches in here. I do want the darker color in the face coat to probably be the heaviest of the colors. So I think I'm going to call that good. I'm going to do about the same thing over here. And for mixing the rapid set mortar mix, I do have a video on mixing it. If you have any questions as to how and I think I am just going to use my fingers in this one. It's pretty hot out today. I don't know how much time I have before I start losing this. So Now we are going to go with the light gray and we're just going to kind of fill in some areas. I'm going to put a little bit of white right there, a little there. I don't want the white to be super predominant, but I want it to be there. OK, 
Okay, that's what I'm going to do right there. I hope you can see that well. A little bit of white. I'm just going to take a little bit of this darker color and kind of fill in the areas that aren't filled in. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to cover the entire surface with with this cuz like I say I do want to try and keep it when it's spread out fairly thin start with this one and we're going to use this butter knife don't tell my wife I stole her butter knife but we are just going to drag it through here kind of like uh, frosting a cake I guess okay that's all I'm going to do with this one but I am going to take this and pull it up on the sides. Now there is no oil on these forms so there's no release agent you don't really need it okay I've got it up there decent now this one I'm going to go two directions so I'm going to do the same thing we just did same thing I'm going to pull it up on the edges in one of my other videos someone had commented could you use rapid set um, cementol 
CTS Cement Manufacturing Corporation makes all of this product and they have a wide line of products and I contacted them and they said that yes you could use cemental for concrete countertops the cemental has a finer sand in it a silica aggregate instead of a plastering sand that the mortar mix has so it would be a, you wouldn't find the chunks that I sometimes find in this mix okay this one right here I am just going to push it around with my fingers I'm going to give it some swirls and that is that I'm going to pull it up on the edges just like that so basically what I've done is just created my face coat so now we'll go ahead and we're going to fill these up things blended and mixed up the way I wanted to so these samples are actually 10 by 10s I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of this in and I have a lot of the white that I'll be putting in Now, I'm not going to vibrate these. I might tap on with the hammer some just to uh, attempt to get some air bubbles out. So. We'll see where that goes. White starting to thick up a little bit. It's gonna, it's a hot day, even though it's fairly early in the morning. It's supposed to be close to 100 degrees out today. So it's important that we speed through this. If I don't have enough here to fill these to the top, I'll just scrape down the sides to what I do have. I think I will. This one may be slightly overfilled. Just going to try and make sure I don't get a white ring around the edge. I don't mind if there's a little white there. going to do it so I'm going to get these trawled out I've got them semi trawled out and now I'm just going to take the hammer 
and I'm going to tap the edges of the forms just to get any air bubbles out. I'm also going to come from underneath and do the same thing. And I'll work these over pretty good that way. Then we'll be back in about 12 hours and we're going to pop these babies open and see what we got. It's been about 24 hours. I was going to pop these open last night, but I just couldn't find it in myself to get out here and do it. So we'll do it this morning. I've got some of the screws out here. Let's get these things opened up and see what we've got. Got the screws out of some of them. We'll go ahead and get the screws out of this one and we'll start opening them up. I'm really hopeful that we, we've got a nice product here. start with this one. This is the one I used the butter knife in one direction. The reason I did that was in the video sampling rapid set mortar mix my mom watched that video and she called me up and she said if you want to make something look like marble you have to do it like a marble cake. <laughs> what the hell I've never made a marble cake. So we're going to see if that worked out. Here we go. I see it's already loose because it moved. Let's see what we've got. Not quite what I had hoped for. Let's get that a little bit wet and see what it looks like. And the, the reason we want to get it wet is because that's more of what it's going to look like with the sealer on it. And actually, I really like that. I think that that has turned out very natural looking. It does not... Um, look man-made to me. I think that is awesome. Alright, let's get this other one opened up. Let's go with the two directions. boy I think this is also going to be very nice in fact I like that even more this seems to have a little bit more of the lateral lines kind of showing which which I like to me these are amazing let's see what we got with the fingers oops I missed the screw
So that goes to show you right here, mom knows what she's talking about, doesn't she? Now this is the fingers. And I'm telling you right now, I'm thinking I'm going to like that too. Look at that, guys. That is really cool. I think all three methods have turned out very, very cool. I'm going to get all three of these wet, and we'll just have another good look at them. But this one was the fingers. This one was the butter knife, One Direction. And of course, and, and the reason we're getting them wet is that that is going to emulate the sealer. Amazing. I'm not sure which is my favorite. I like them all. I've been spraying them with water for about 10 minutes now. And they're, they're thirsty. They're just sucking it right up. But we're going to get them wet one more time. We're going to look at the edges a little bit because we pulled the face coat up on the edge to create an edge that would be appealing. So let's see if we were successful. I think all three of these have turned out just amazing. Um, leave in the comments which one you like the best. So let's start with this one. This was with the fingers. I'm going to pull it right up here. I'm going to get a little bit wet again. Wipe the edges. Emulate that sealer on there. So you can have a good look at that edge. Not a whole lot of pattern in the edges. But there's some. And I did not take the time to clean all the slag off and all that stuff, but... And this edge got a little more white in it. Let's get it a little bit wet because some of that is not going to stay there. I really like that. Let's go to Butter Knife One Direction. Let's do the same thing. Get it a little bit wet. Get those edges. So leave in the comments also, was this successful? Did I emulate a piece of marble? Because I think I did. And if you are thinking about doing something like this on a grand scale, I would mix up at first only the cement you need for the face coat. Let's look at this edge. I think they're pretty nice. They're pretty natural looking. This one's a little bit dry. Also let me know which one is your favorite. This is the butter knife two directions. I just can't get over how amazing these look. To me, that is amazing. There's a little more white in the edges on this one. This one had a lot of white left that I used for the bottom because I just kind of put the colors together. I couldn't be happier, guys. These are just amazing.
butter knife two directions. Fingers. knife one direction. Thanks mom for the great idea. These turned out amazing. That's all we've got for this time. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please write down in those comments. Subscribe to my channel we got some more amazing stuff coming. And if anybody experiments with any of this, please leave me some comments and let me know what you, what you found out and how things worked out for you. Thanks, Mom. I think these turned out excellent. If you enjoyed yourself, click on one of these two videos. They're going to pop up right here. I'd like to give a special thanks to Tony Iaconelli and Brett Wimmer because none of this could happen without them.